Today, we are visiting a beautiful forest in Japan to discover a cultivation technique in the forest. This is a secret method has been used for nearly a thousand years by Japanese. They call it growing shiitake mushrooms in the wood. You may be familiar with shiitake mushrooms, but have you ever seen millions of them grown in the forest? And Japan may not be the biggest exporter of shiitake mushrooms, but they are known for having the tastiest ones. Not only are they tasty, but they are also easy to use, great for your health, and contain many beneficial properties. In this video, I will show you how they cultivate these mushrooms in the forest. Let's find out what makes it so special. The first step of the process is to prepare the raw logs. Usually the wood used in growing mushrooms here are sawtooth oak, red oak and mizunara which has been used for a thousand years and is recognized for producing the best mushrooms. The logs are cut into different sizes from 90 centimeters to 120 centimeters. Then they are brought down to the foot of the mountain. Here, the logs are drilled and mushroom spawn is inserted into every hole. This step is so cool to watch. The mushroom spawn is compressed into pieces like this. Each log usually has 30 pieces of spawn attached to it. Nowadays, this process is much simpler with the help of machines. This is also a favorite job of elderly people in Japan. The logs are then taken to a cool, shaded area for incubation. During this time, the mushroom mycelium will grow and attach itself to the wood. This process takes about two weeks. Now, it's time to decide whether to use traditional cultivation or grow the mushrooms in a greenhouse. I will introduce you to the greenhouse method first since it has some outstanding benefits. For example, the moisture and temperature are controlled more easily. It's also easier to harvest and to have more crops throughout the year. However, the mushrooms still require two years to grow before harvesting. Let's see the process of harvesting mushrooms in the greenhouse. However, this method has some weaknesses compared to traditional cultivation. The quality cannot match that of naturally grown mushrooms. Now, let's find out why naturally grown mushrooms are always the best. Soak trees are grown for 15 years before being logged for shiitake mushrooms production. It then takes two years from logging and injecting the spawn until the logs start yielding mushrooms. Each log has a cultivation cycle of four to five years. After that, the logs are retired and returned to the forest where they fertilize the next generation of sawtooth oak. It is here that generations of farmers have faithfully followed the traditional sustainable farming methods. 
That result in the highest quality shiitake mushrooms. In this method, mushrooms will derive all nutrients from the wood. Along with the right amount of moisture, air circulation, and temperature for optimal growth. Also, natural factors such as frost, wind, humidity, and temperature contribute to the perfect growth of mushrooms. However, they cannot grow too many mushrooms this way. Each year, only a limited amount of natural mushrooms can be harvested. That's why fresh mushrooms are expensive, and dried mushrooms for export are even more expensive. After harvesting, they select the best mushrooms and dry them right away in their dehydrators. Shiitake mushroom contains a lot of protein and essential minerals for the human body. Moreover, it contains various vitamins such as vitamin B, C and minerals like calcium, iron, aluminum, and magnesium. When dried, 100 g of shiitake mushroom only contains 0.5 g of fat, 34 calories, and 2.5 g of fiber. It's not only nutritious, but also tasty. So tell me, have you ever tried it before? Are you a fan of mushrooms? What's your favorite way to cook them? Please share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Now, it's time to say goodbye. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.